Hello and welcome to Georgia Tech. My name is Mark Prausnitz and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the research we're doing in my lab. Our research is focused on largely drug delivery systems and we have a translational emphasis to the work that we do. That is to say that we start at the very beginning sometimes in terms of, of inventing and designing new delivery systems. We study them in vitro, we study them in animals, we'll study them in humans as well. And our ultimate goal is to have the technology translated out of the university into a startup company or some other kind of licensing and eventually be used in clinical practice. Our work uses a number of different technologies for drug delivery purposes. A lot of our work uses microneedle technology where we are, for example, developing microneedle patches that can be applied to the skin. The microscopic needles dissolve in the skin, releasing an encapsulated vaccine. And in that way, vaccination can be done in a painless way, a simple way, a way that can facilitate, for example, mass vaccination like we're doing right now with COVID vaccines. We're also making microneedles made out of biodegradable polymer that snap off just below the skin surface and slowly release contraceptive hormone for a month or more. We're also using the microneedles in reverse, where we are not putting things in the body, but we're pulling the fluid in the skin, the interstitial fluid, out of the skin. That is of interest as an alternate biofluid compared to, for example, blood that is usually used because we can get biomarkers that are more tissue specific from the skin and also interstitial fluid doesn't clot, which lends itself to continuous or repeated access to the fluid and the biomarkers in it. We don't only work with microneedles. We have some other technologies of, uh, of interest too. One of them is we are developing capsules that can be swallowed and enable delivery of proteins that would otherwise require injection now to be taken by pill. We're working with ionic liquids, which is a mechanism by which we can take a drug salt that may be paired with, for example, a sodium or a chloride counter ion. We can pair it with a different, more bulky counter iron and in that way, make that drug into a liquid which has these unusual properties as this ionic liquid. We can take advantage of those properties to impart greater stability to the drug, also to enable controlled release, also to facilitate its delivery process because these ionic liquids have some unusual properties. A final thing I'll mention is that we are genetically engineering the skin's microbiome. We are engineering the bacteria that live on the skin to produce, for example, drugs of dermatological interest, as well as to continually release mosquito repellent so that we can prevent people from being bitten and getting the diseases that mosquitoes transmit. Our group is an interdisciplinary one where we have people from engineering, biomedical engineering, chemical engineering, and others. We also have pharmaceutical scientists, biochemists, people from a variety of, of disciplines. We're about 20 people in the research group, half doctoral students, half postdoctoral, and we collaborate extensively with others, both on Georgia Tech campus, as well as with Emory, the CDC, and others. I hope this introduction has given you a, a glimpse into what we're doing. I look forward to speaking with you and telling you more about what we're doing and learning what you're doing as well. Bye-bye.